So, if you've been following me on my socials, whether that's Instagram or TikTok, Facebook or whatever, you probably know that I've been using the Huawei P60 Pro for taking photos and for taking videos. Actually, in some of my reviews that I posted to jamonline.ph, I've been using the P60 Pro for my product shots instead of my camera. Yes the camera that I am using right now. And today, we're not gonna make a review. Marami nang gumawa na review na ito. Alam naman natin pros and cons na ito. Today, um, I'm gonna talk about something na hindi masyadong natatakil, uh, which is why I like using this one as my other smartphone. So, okay, just to give you an idea, I've been using the uh, iPhone 13 Pro uh, for a while now, actually more than a year already because I've been using iMessage with my wife. I've been talking to her using iMessage and I need some iOS applications uh, dito and I've been using a Mac. So, mas madali ecosystem sa akin with the Mac and the iPhone. But here's the thing, I always bring a secondary smartphone with me and most of the time, it's a flagship smartphone. And this time, it's the Huawei P60 Pro. That is over my other Android smartphones na meron ako dito which are all flagship smartphones. So why do I like using the Huawei P60 Pro? So let me enumerate some of those things na nagustuhan ko sa kanya. Alright, so some of you might say that okay, the Huawei P60 Pro doesn't have 5G. That is true. It comes with a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor which is also dated as this one is the previous generation. We're already at Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, diba? So, medyo luma na yung kanyang processor by uh, one generation. And this one only comes with 4G. But here's the thing. Some of you, well, if you are just using your smartphone for uploading videos, checking out Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, most of the time, okay na yung 4G, eh. mabilis na yung speeds niya. But surprisingly, the Huawei P60 Pro is quite fast. I've been getting speeds at around 50 to 70 Mbps around Makati. That is using 4G+. Plus. This is almost on par with the 5G speeds na nakukuha ko dito. But most of the time, mas mabilis yung 5G speeds. But honestly, that difference na meron do sa 4G and 5G isn't really a deal breaker for me as this one is uh, being used as my secondary smartphone as I've been using it for uh, taking photos and also videos. Now, I mentioned the photos and videos. Let's talk about the camera of the smartphone. So the main highlight para sa akin dito talaga is the camera of the Huawei P60 Pro. So this one, just like the other PC smartphone, has an ungodly camera. So as you can see in here, so as you can see in here, ganito yung itsura niya. Uh, pag naka-landscape tayo dito, it actually resembles a uh, digital camera, right? Yes, actually that uh, looks like a digital camera pag nakaganto taking photos like that. But yeah, uh, the main feature talaga dito is the camera. Not only that we're getting really good photos in here, okay rin yung videos niya. However, yung selfie camera niya, I believe it's not the best one for photos and videos. Now, going back to the rear camera of the smartphone, I've been getting really good shots dito. So, ang pinaka gusto ko dito, aside do sa X-Mage camera nila dito, is the physical aperture control. Basically, I could shoot at f1.4 or even adjust it to 2.1, 2.4, whatever, up to f4.0 para sa mga shots ko. And when I'm taking product shots outside, just like uh, the Poco F5 that I've uh, reviewed or that I had the first impression, I actually use this one instead of my camera kasi okay yung quality niya. Not just that, the big game changer for me in here is that I was able to get 2x, 3.5x, and even 10x and yet I am still getting the really good details dito sa smartphone na to. And imagine that, combined with that, yung 2x dito, so para akong naka 35mm minsan dito na lens instead of an 18mm. So mas maganda yung mga product shots ko dito. This is why I've been using this one over my camera because actually, Minsan di ko naman pansin na which one is the camera and which one is the P60 Pro. So overall, the camera of this one, like I've, what I've said in my review, this is the king of camera smartphones, the P60 Pro. Like what I've said earlier, I've been using it as uh, my other main phone because it also has a long battery life. Actually, sobrang tagal ang battery niya and despite using an Snapdragon 8 Plus uh, Gen 1 processor dito, I was actually getting a really good thermos compared dun sa mga previous smartphones and review natin with a similar processor. So, playing Honkai Impact, uh, Honkai Star Rail rather, is quite enjoyable dito sa smartphone na to at the highest settings. 
given na yan, maganda na yung display. So, nag-enjoy ako maglaro dito sa smartphone na to. And again, we got long battery life. Kahit na maglaro ko dito, I'm still getting a long battery life dito sa smartphone. I'm charging the smartphone every other day, actually. Uh, minsan, once a day, pag talagang heavy yung gaming ko. But most of the time, super happy ako dito sa battery ng P60 Pro. As for the charging niya, sobrang bilis no meron tayo na charging dito. So, it also comes with an 88 watts Huawei Supercharge. Mabilis siya mag-charge. So, walang problema pagdating sa charging dito sa Huawei P60 Pro. And, natutuwa ako sa charger niya kasi meron siyang slot for USB Type-C and meron din siyang slot for USB Type-A. So, despite having a 4,815 mAh of battery, I'm actually getting better than uh, smartphones na may 5,000 mAh of battery. So, I'm really happy with the battery life of this smartphone. And lastly, meron na tayong Google applications. Well, Technically, uh, meron tayong Google applications thanks to Gbox. But unlike the previous process before, if you watch my TikTok, it's way easier now to install Google applications. So, sa app gallery, uh, mag-search ka Gmail, or rather, mag-search ka ng mga Google Maps, mag-search ka ng Google Photos, install it. May lalabas sa prompt sa inyo na install Gbox first. So, hindi na yung mahabang proseso, nag-download ka ng APK sa, sa isang website or whatever. This one is way easier and more natural to use. But of course, doesn't have Google Play Store. It relies on the Huawei App Gallery for most applications. And don't worry, there are a lot of applications in there. I was actually even able to install Netflix. Meron ngang Disney Plus dun sa Huawei App Gallery. So really, it's not... Uh, really, uh, it's not really a problem for me and installing other applications such as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter wala na naging problema dito with Gbox so uh, medyo na fix na yung problem nyo dito with Google so whatever you need Google applications whether that's Google Sheets, Google um, Docs, or whatever pwede nyo napatakbuhin dito sa Huawei P60 Pro alright, so I'm not saying that the Huawei P60 Pro is a perfect smartphone it still has some things na na-miss niya. Of course, it's not the perfect hardware that we're seeing in here, but if you're the type of person who needs a flagship smartphone that can take really, really great photos and videos that can be a camera replacement, I even have videos that I'm using the Huawei P60 Pro. Uh, kasi nga, sobrang ganda nung uh, pag-gaboke niya, sobrang okay nung aperture niya. Minsan, mas maganda pa siya dun sa main camera ko. So, if you really need that on a smartphone, maybe you could consider this one. Alright? You could consider this one. And if not, siguro, sa mga katulad ko na lagi may dalawang smartphones, it's really great as a secondary smartphone. Kasi ang ganda na ng mga photos ko sa Instagram ngayon, ang ganda ng mga photos ko ngayon on my website for my reviews and everything. And I do not need to bring my camera anymore because the camera of the Huawei P60 Pro is really good. So I guess that's it for our video for today. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of our latest videos here in my YouTube channel. So once again, I am Jam of Jam Online.ph. Thank you for watching and see you guys again sa susunod na video.